All right, if you want to know right now where Bitcoin is going, then just look at this tweet because this tweet is basically saying exactly what I think as well Bitcoin is going to do. And look at the tweet writer from Salsa to q and saying, people don't realize how unusual neutral Bitcoin funding rates are while the price is hovering near all-time high. There's a strong demand for spot Bitcoin and traders are not longing because it didn't run upon the all-time high break. You won't be able to buy sub 70k Bitcoin in a few days so much higher. This is as well what I'm expecting right now. So also the kid is one of the best traders actually out there and he actually won some competitions in the past on a buy bit and he's a very legit trader and he's basically saying right now Coinbase is having a hundred dollar premium above Binance Future. Now, if you don't really know what all of this means, I'm going to explain you guys exactly what that means. So basically what Salsa Tequila is saying right now is we are trading almost at the autumn high and the funding rate, as you can see right up here, is going down. So this is absolutely insane. People are actually going into short positions. People are actually closing their long positions. And it seems like funding rate is even going to be negative very soon, which means a lot of shorts have actually built up in this position. A lot of people are expecting here the price to go here to the downside. But as you can see, we are trading near autumn high. Whenever we break the autumn high, we see a significant rally to the upside. So we basically have all of these people who are going into a short position, which are probably soon going to be trapped. Because again, the moment that we break this autumn high, we are going to have one significant hell of a move here to the upside. Now, does that mean that in the short term we can't have a move to the downside? I mean, you're probably watching this, the title, and it's probably going to be something quite bullish, but um, it still means Bitcoin could go a little bit to the downside. We could have a double bottom like this, but um, generally speaking, a move like this is not just going to change the whole funding rate. I think what is going to happen is that you're probably going to go here, move towards 70k, just as Salsa TQ is saying. Now, as well, there's right now a Coinbase premium. Now, what does that exactly mean? Well, it means that currently a lot of people are buying spot, and that's exactly what we want to see. We want people to see buying spot because generally speaking, when people are are buying on the futures they're generally just going along on bitcoin they're not really adding any money to the market but when people are actually buying bitcoin on spot so they're not buying bitcoin with leverage and when the price is of course more expensive here on the spot exchanges that means that people are generally buying bitcoin on spot that means that money is actually flowing into the market and again if the price is getting pushed to the upside here on the futures uh, generally speaking the price is of course going to come back here to that exact level because there's not really any new money flowing into the market so it's just being pushed up by leverage and eventually people are going to close their lungs and they're going to get liquidated and then it's just going to move here back to the downside but again if people are going to go into a spot position that means that the price is probably going to have a much bigger mover to the upside because generally speaking when people buy spots they're not planning to sell anytime soon so uh, we're seeing all of that kind of bullish things here lining up for bitcoin to probably get a significant mover to the upside probably in the next three days four days here uh, moving forward so um that is absolutely, you know, pretty much my plan here moving forward for Bitcoin. I think we're going to have a move here to the upside now. Uh, again, it could still mean Bitcoin is going to have a move here to the downside a little bit and we're going to have a double bottom. Uh, but if it were going to move here to like 64,000 US dollar, um, that's when I'm going to be looking here to go into a long position, probably 61 point eight if we're going to move to that level i'm just going to say right now i am probably going to be hunting here for a long position but if we do break the out of high i think we're just going to have a straight candle here to the upside liquidate those longs here as you can see uh funding rate is probably going to crouch back here to the upside but then we're just going to have free price discovery i mean the autumn high is right here at like 69,000 us dollar and we all really went to 70,000, so we already broke the autumn high it's just absolutely insane how fast we moved to this level now the big question is, why are we actually moving so high to the upside? Why is Bitcoin actually moving to these higher levels? Well, if you haven't actually followed this channel for the last few months, um, you wouldn't really know probably. But if you did, well, I already predicted that this was going to happen. The Fed is going to lower the interest rates. Hallelujah. Here we finally go after all the hate that I've been getting here for the last two years. People saying, no, Thomas, the Fed is going to increase the interest rate. You should sell your Bitcoin right now. I've been holding on to my prediction ever since that they started raising the interest rates. And I knew this because I actually put this banner right over here the moment that they started to raise the interest rates uh, because I knew this was going to happen is that they wouldn't be able to increase the interest rates and eventually they would have to lower it. And I really said, guys, if you're going to sell your Bitcoin and your assets on the expectation that the Fed is going to increase the interest rate, on the expectation that we're going to have a massive asset crash, you're going to feel... And, you know, people are going to start buying assets before the Fed is actually going to lower interest rates. People are going to front run the Fed lowering interest rates and they're going to do that months ahead. And I warned about this and I said, guys, I'm not selling any of my assets. And, you know, it did still got that 80 print correction, which was quite surprising to me. Um, not going to lie that we went all the way down here, but it was partly because there was a lot of speculation here. Uh, we had Luna collapsing, Trio Capitals collapsing, but FTX collapsing. Uh, but regardless of that, I just bought a bunch of more spot Bitcoin. 
And I just wrote it here back to the upside. And I was clear about this, guys. If you're going to sell anywhere in this area, you're going to get doomed. You're going to be completely doomed because people are going to front run the Fed actually increase, uh, lowering the interest rates. Now, we got the ETF that blasted Bitcoin to the upside as well, uh, which is one of the things that, hey, guess what? It happened and it was very good. Um, but here, the lowering of the interest rate, I think that was as well a major driver, maybe even a major driver here uh, for the ETF, uh, the reason that a lot of these investors want to have their hands on Bitcoin right now. Uh, because the system is falling apart. I mean, inflation is going up, and now the Fed is saying they're going to lower interest rates. Uh, okay, this is uh, hilarious. But um, anyway, that's exactly what we talked about. I said the Fed's not going to be able to increase interest rate for a long time. Don't sell your assets. Um, probably we're going to see that this is going to be front run by the major investors. And that's exactly what happened is uh, we saw Bitcoin move to the upside, and now they're already stating it. So, um, yeah. That prediction is uh, pretty much true. Um, yeah, it's over for the Federal Reserve. And uh, this is what uh, Dylan LeClaire is saying. And I pretty much agree with Dylan LeClaire here. Is that he's saying a wall of money is coming into the space. Now, is he talking about the ETF? Uh, probably. But I think he's also talking about the fact that it seems like the monetary system is uh, cracking and it is not doing that well. Again, we have inflation right now going up. Look at the statistics and we have the Fed lowering rates, which pretty much means that the Fed, they can't have actually high interest rates. It's just going to be too much of a burden here for the government. And so they're pretty much forced to lower it. Um, and this is the reason why they're, like, they're saying there's going to be so much money in this space. It's just going to be insane. You, you don't even need to work. It's just free money. I said this in 2020. Before the, you know, during the whole pandemic, I said, Bitcoin is free money. They're just giving it away for free. All you have to do is buy it. And then the Federal Reserve is going to make some kind of hiccup, some kind of problem. And then the Bitcoin is going to fly to the upside. And every four, five, six years, something, some hiccup is going to happen. Some crisis is going to happen. We saw it during the 2008 crisis. We saw it during the repo crisis. Uh, we saw it during the COVID crisis. And then it just spirals back to the upside. It's just free money at this point in time, uh, which... You know, it's the reason I hold a lot of Bitcoin. I've been all into Bitcoin here for a very long time. Um, and if you thought that the Federal Reserve was screwing up, they have to realize the banks are also screwing up. So if you have your money at the, at the banks right now, you're like, okay, well, the Federal Reserve is going to screw up. I'm going to have a lot of inflation. So I'm just going to keep my money in the bank. Well, you know, I have to deal with those problems anyway. But then the bank collapses. So God damn it, what can you even do with your fiat money? Um, it is a complete disaster right now. It seems like... Um, there is some more regional banks uh, collapses incoming. Even Jerome Powell is saying the same thing. So, um, yeah, if you want to keep your money safe at this point, what can you, how can you do? So you have inflation spiraling to the upside, so you can keep it in the bank, but the bank can potentially collapse. So what are you going to do? You're going to hold it at JP Morgan, okay? Then you hold it at JP Morgan, and then what? Again, you're going to get inflated away. What can people do with their money? Well, there's obviously one thing that you can do, and that's the Bitcoin system. And this is what Michael Sater wants to talk about. Bitcoin is currently like, well, the whole financial system is currently like a plane that's crashing. And we're all in this plane, and it's crashing to the downside. And if you're going to stay in this plane, you're going to die. And then there's this parachute with the big B on it. It's the Bitcoin parachute. And I'm going to give you the parachute. And you're like, why, why are you giving me this parachute? I don't even know how to use a parachute. I've never used a parachute before. That's the Bitcoin system. Now, we have no idea if this Bitcoin system as a parachute is going to work. Maybe it's going to open, maybe it's not going to open. Uh, maybe, you know, we're all going to die, including the Bitcoiners. Uh, you know, just saying it as a, uh, you know, uh, you know, of course, just saying it as a metaphor. But I think it's a lot better to get the hell out of the system because it's going to collapse anyway and then just jump in a Bitcoin system or maybe even gold or something else, something tangible that could potentially save you now. I think that the Bitcoin parachute seems to be relatively solid, at least as an alternative. And so I'm going to strap myself on that parachute, that Bitcoin parachute, and I'm just going to hope I'm going to survive. Uh, that's the best that we can do. But, uh, you know, again, if you're going to stay here in the, in the old fiat system, we have the federal sort of lowering interest rates when the inflation is going to the upside and purely because they're not able to keep interest rates high because they screwed up because the debt level is too high. Um, so, uh, yeah, Bitcoin is going to go you know, we're already breaking out the high and it's just absolutely insane. And we're going to probably screw much and much further to the upside. Um, so yeah, but that I want to end this video, guys. I'm very bullish here on a Bitcoin in the short term again. Uh, I think we're going to run to autumn high. We're going to blast above it. I could see a little bit of volatility, but next couple of few days, um, I'm very, very bullish on Bitcoin. So um, with that I want to end this video, of course, guys, make sure to like and subscribe, guys. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, a lot of new people have been recently watching the video. Make sure to subscribe. I've been in this space for many, many years. And if you're not subscribed, you're missing out on so much content. I predicted the bottom here on the day. Uh, go to my Twitter page. Follow my Twitter page. Do all of that stuff, guys. I think you guys 
guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.